Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bestin. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a WordPress website offline. What this means is that you can design a WordPress website offline on your computer. You will not need to buy a domain name. You will not need to buy a hosting plan. You can design it, everything on your system. Then, when you want to host it, when you want it to go live, that is when you need to buy a domain name or a hosting plan. For many people who want to learn a web design, the first issue they have is they will say they don't have money to buy a domain name and a hosting plan before starting the lessons. But here is a way that you can do it without spending money. It's going to be free. All you need to do is to have the required tools. And that is what I will be teaching you in this video. Alright, so if you are visiting my channel for the first time, Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be the first to know. On this channel, I talk about website design and other digital tools that will help you grow your businesses on the internet and also make profit from it. Alright, so without waste of time, I'll be going straight into this. So for you to be able to design a WordPress website offline, you are going to need five things. The first thing is your ZAMP. You need to download ZAMP, which you will be using as your server. You are going to download WordPress. You are going to download Astra Team. You are going to download Astra Status Site. And then your Elementor. And then Elementor. So these five things, I'll be showing you how to download them, how to set it up on your system and then how you can start designing your website. All right, so come with me. So the first thing is ZAMP. You are going to download ZAMP. So ZAMP, you will come to Apache, ApacheFriends.org. So enter. So when you come here, look at ZAMP for Windows. ZAMP for Linux, ZAMP for Mac. So you can choose the one you are, depending on the, the operating system you are using. So I am using Windows, so I will now click on Windows. As you can see, ZAMP is being downloaded here. My ZAMP is downloading. So you wait for it to download. So our ZAMP is has been downloaded so click on show in folder so look at our ZAMP here we downloaded two times but we're going to use one so this is our ZAMP so let's go back and download WordPress now go to wordpress.org so when you come to wordpress.org click on get WordPress Scroll down, you now see download WordPress here. Yeah, this is the, the latest version. You will always see the latest version here. Yeah. So click on download WordPress. So as you can see, our WordPress is being downloaded here. Yeah. So wait for it to download. So, so click on show in folder. So as you can see, this is our WordPress here. Yeah. It has come as a zip. It has come as a zip file. So let's go back and get some other things. So now we are going to download Astra Team as well. You are going to download this on you know, the same website, website WordPress.org. So click on Teams here. Right. So when you click on Teams, you now see that there are so many teams. Yeah. But the one we are looking looking for is Astra. So look at Astra Teams here. So if we are looking for a team and it is not displayed here, you can simply come here and search for it. So but we have seen our Astra team here. So we are going to download it. So click on download. And so you will see, see that our Astra team is being downloaded here. So wait for it to download. We have finished so click and come to show it in folder 
to look at my download folder here, look at our Astra here. So now we are going to download Astra starter site. This is a plugin. It is not a theme now, it's a plugin. So come to plugin. And again, it's still on the same website. It's still on the same WordPress.org. So click on plugins there. And then look at several plugins here. But the one we are looking for is Astra Stellar Site. So let's just come here and search for it. Astra Astra Stellar Sites. So search. So as you can see, this is the thing we are looking for. So now click on it. So when you click on it, click on download here. Yeah. So it, it is downloading. So it has finished downloading. Click on show in folder. Look at our uh, Astra Star Sites here. Yeah. So most times it comes with the Elementor plugin. But if it doesn't come with the Elementor plugin, you can still come back to plugins here and download it. So search for Elementor. So look at your Elementor here. Click on it. And then download Elementor. Let's finish downloading. Show in a download folder. So look at our Elementor here. So now we are done with the internet. So we are going to off, I'm going to off my internet now. So go back to your folder. This is your download folder here. So what you are going to do, the first thing you are going to do now is to install your ZAM. So open your ZAM. Click on run. Okay. Click on next, 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 language, English, next, click on next, so you are installing your ZAMP now, remember ZAMP is like your server, so click on next, Alright, so our ZAMP is done installing now, so click on finish. So if you want to open ZAMP now, just come to search here and then type ZAMP. Look at it here. So you can decide to pin it to start button. If you pin it to start button, it will be easier for you to access it anytime you want to open it. So this is your ZAMP here. We are going to be using two things here. We are going to be using Apache server. Look at Apache here. And then MySQL. These two. So we are, we are not going to start them now. So just minimize this. Open your C drive. We are trying to set up our server now. We are trying to set up our server, our local server. So come to your C drive here. Open it. Then you will see Zam. Look at ZAMP here. This is the, the software you just installed. Now, to open it, then come to HT dots. This is where your website is going to be saved. Open HT dots. So when you open it, you are now going to create a folder inside this HT dots. So this uh, this folder now you are going to use use your your domain name. So in this case, I want to create a site for Ciprox Tech. Uh, so I'll just put the name Ciprox Tech.com. So this is the name of the folder, and it has now become my domain name. All right. So now 
I'm going to go back to my WordPress. You remember, we downloaded WordPress too. So I will come to my download folder here. Come to my download folder. And then look at WordPress here. So you know, WordPress came as a zipped file. So I'm going to extract the files. So I'm going to click on extract here. Extract. So we'll wait for it to extract. Alright, so that's finished extracting now. So look at the extracted measure here. Look at the file. So when you open this WordPress, open WordPress, you now see these files. So this is what we are going to do. You can simply copy this folder and take it to your HT DOS, take it to the folder where you created that cell. But what I'm going to do is, I'll open it and copy these files. So copy these files, all of them. Then I'll now come to my folder in C drive, HT DOS, look at it, ZAMP HT DOS. Then open, this is the folder I just created there. Open it, then I'll paste it here. Alright, so our files are here. Yes, these are our WordPress files. They are all there now. So close this folder now. Close it and then open your browser. So when you come to your browser now, open a new tab. So let me show you something on our exam. We are supposed to start Apache Server and MySQL. So I don't want to start it first. I want to show you something. So come with me. So you now see you are going to type localhost here. I'm trying to create database for our website now. So you type localhost. So you see this error. It has thrown this error because we have not started our server. So each time you see this error, know that your server is not on. So you now come, you now open your exam and then click on start. You are going to start Apache server and MySQL. So start the two of them. When it, when the light, when this background turns to green, you know that it is working fine. So you can minimize this. You can even close it if you want to. So now come back to your browser and refresh. So now you will see that that's open. So this is your ZAM server. So now for you to create your database, you are going to click on PHP My Admin. This is where you will create your database. Again, this is not online. Everything is, is offline. You are doing it on a local server on your system. You don't need internet. You don't need to pay money for anything. So now click on new. So when you click on new database name, you can use, I'm using Seprox Tech because that is the company I'm creating uh, this website for. So Click on create. So we are done with our database. We are done with creating our database. So now we are going to install WordPress. So remember, I said that this folder I've created in my C drive. Open some HT docs. This folder seproxtech.com is now our domain name. So when you come to your browser, you are going to type localhost, localhost slash the domain name, which is seproxtech.com. 
to receive. So enter. So it will now take you to this place. So you are going to. So you see, welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need some information on your database. That is the database we just created now. You will need to know the following items before proceeding. So our database name, we know it. Database username, that's a default one. Password, there's no password. Host, table prefix, everything is there. So let's go. So now we are going to put our database name here, which is which is Ciprox. Ciprox tech. Then our username. PHP my admin comes with the username of uh, root. Root root is the user the default username. So we just put it there, and then password we leave it empty because we did not assign any pass password when we were when we were creating the database. So submit. So now you've made it through. Uh, you made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. So now click on installation. So now, what is your site name? My site name is Seprox Tech. Remember, this will display on my website. So I can change it subsequently. So my username, admin, I'm using admin. Remember, this is, these are the login details you will use when you want to access your back end, the back end of your website. So use a uh, username that you remember, use a password that you can remember as well. Though you make your password strong, it should be something you can remember. So I will hide my password and then I will type, so this is my password, my email address, sebrockstack at gmail.com. So don't think this. Leave this in. If you take it, it will affect your SEO, your search engine optimization. So leave it. So now click on install WordPress. All right, success. So I'm going to save my password. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and uh, enjoy. Username, admin, password, the one you have chosen. So I will now log into my WordPress. This is the back end of the website. Now click on login. Then add, uh, the username I, I chose there, my password. You remember I've saved it already, so it's there. I will now click on login. Right. So this is our WordPress dashboard. As you can see, welcome to WordPress. This is uh, version 5.9. So this is it. So now, let's quickly view our site and see. Let's quickly view it. So come to VC site. So this is our website. You can see the site name. I put the other side. You can see it here. Subsequently, I will, I will change it to... When we start our design, I will change it to an image. Maybe my, my business logo, something. So this is the different thing that comes with WordPress. Once you install it, it comes with this. So as you can see the domain name now, localhost slash separatestech.com. So I can put this on a new tab. Okay, let me show you. I can put localhost slash separatestech.com. Uh, Here, yeah, enter. So you see that my site is here, probably powered by WordPress. So that's All right. So now we are going to change this thing. This thing is not looking very pretty. We are going to change it to a more professional uh, thing. You remember what the one we downloaded, the Astra Team? That's what we are going to install now. We are going to install Astra Team, and then we will. Be We'll continue from there. So once once we install Astra Team, you see that the, the whole structure of this website will change. All right, so come to go back to your dashboard. So if you want to edit anything, you come to this place. 
come to appearance then click on teams of course there are some other teams that can be not pressing but this is the one that is active if you want to activate this you can just click on activate it will now replace this one if you want to activate this you can just click on activate but we are going to use astra team the one we downloaded so just come to this place click on add new add a new team so click on upload team so you can now choose the file so remember our team is, is under download files download folder so click on download now you now see Astra team look at it here 3.7.9 this is what we downloaded so click on ok you remember you are not going to unzip it just upload it like that so click on open you see that's come here so click on install wait for it to install as i see unpacking the package team installed successfully all right so we now activate activate it so as you can see new team activated this is our team here that it has been activated let's go and check our website now to see if there is any change so now come and refresh refresh it now so you now see that the team has changed the, the appearance of our website has changed so you now see that the arrangement this arrangement is quite pretty as you can see the structure if you drop a post it will appear here you have recent posts you have recent comments archives categories all of it this is a sample page so our team is, is set so now let's go back to our dashboard now we are going to install a plugin that will help us to import, import a complete website and then edit to suit what we want so remember we downloaded uh, astra stellar site so that's what we're going to install now the plugin so click on plugins here so click on add new add new plugin so we are going to upload upload plugin choose a file so again we'll come to our download folder here so look at astra sites here this is the plugin so click on it and open so look at it here install now so all these things we are doing them offline unpacking the package installing the plugin plugin installed successfully all right so go ahead and activate plugin there are some there are many things that your website alone wordpress alone cannot do but these plugins they enhance the functionality if you need a plugin for for seo you install it and it will serve that purpose if you need a plugin for creating of forms you install it if you need a plugin for live chat but you install it so this our plugin that we just installed now is for is to help us with a lot of templates a lot of other sites that we can import into our our wordpress and then edit so now our plugin has been installed and activated as you can see here so look at the starter templates here this is the, the plugin the one we just installed now so click on see library we are trying to pick a website that we will use now so click on see library so this is just an intro video click on build your website now 
So we are going to use Elementor. These are different page builders. So you can see Block, ed block Editor, Elementor, Beaver Builder. So the one we are going to use is Elementor. Elementor works better with Astra. And then it is, it is for me, it is uh, easier to use. All right, so choose Elementor. When you click on Elementor, you now see a number of websites here. So you can pick a website here. The ones that have premium, you will not be able to use them because they are paid ones. So maybe you want to go with this. Let's click this. Click on skip and continue. Continue. Leave all these things. Click on submit. Of course, here you might need to connect to the internet for you to, to download it. Alright, so congratulations, your website is up and ready. So again, disconnect your network and go offline. So now, come back to your local host here and refresh your website. Yes. So you now see that we have a complete website here. You now see that we have this as our website. This is our website. You can see it is very fine. Okay, good looking. It's looking professional. You have the home tab here. I have this button for hire me. You can link this to your WhatsApp. You can link it to your, your, your phone where they will feel and get to you. You can link it to any of your social media handles, one you use mostly. So, as you can see this, this is our website, and this is offline, so we are going to edit everything offline, without a domain name, without buying a domain name, without buying a hosting plan. Alright, so now, we'll go ahead and edit our website, we are going to edit our website, and then it will be ready to go live. So now come to your, your menu bar here and click on edit with Elementor. Edit with Elementor. First, you need to note that if you are going to edit, this, this uh, website has different sections. So you have your header here. This is your header, the whole of this section here from this logo up to this button is your header. Then if you come down here, you now see that the whole of this place from this social media icons here all the way to this email here the whole of this section is your footer as you can see copyright 2022 secret step this is your site name that appears there so if you want to edit anything on your footer and your header your header we are going to click on customize but if you are going to edit anything within the the body of your website you are going to use elementor so if you want to change this text you want to change the image if you want to change the text if you want to change the button if you want to change this if you want to change this if you want to change this section, we are going to use Elementor. All of these things, we are going to use Elementor. We are going to use Elementor. So now we are going to edit this page. So click on Edit with Elementor. All right, so we'll look at our website here. I'm going to change this. So anything you want to edit, just click on it. You see that the left panel here will change. So on this left panel, 
the first section here is your content then the style and then uh, advanced advanced you are changing the positioning look at the margin padding uh, of this box this section here you can change the position the motion you can change background you can change the border and all of that here so if you come to style we're going to be changing the text color typography uh, shadow and the rest so content is where you are going to change the text so now i want to change this to my name i am welcome so i want to put this in the center and align it like that you know if i want to increase the size uh, reduce the size and click on any heading type here. they are up to, up to six h1 to h6 so if I, if I want it to be right i'll align it right but let's keep it center so now i want to change this to so this I like to uh, type at your button here. So if you click on this button, you see that this will also change again. Okay? Learn more, we are linking it to your blog. You can have something like www.sebrox.tech or any link where you are linking it to com slash blog. Can put it there give us a link so when i click on this it will take them to to that page so if you want to change the learn more maybe you want to put read read more you can simply put it like that if you want to change this image click on it choose image we are going to select an image from our system. This and then you put your alt text for your SEO. You put your uh, title for your SEO. Click on insert. See that it will take this place. So now I want this section, the whole of this section here, that is the text and the image. I want you to have a motion, a little design so that it will, to look more beautiful. So come to advance. When, after selecting it, come to advance. Look at motion effects here. Right now it's on default. So put it on something like fade in left so that it will come in like this. So now about me. Can leave about me, click here. Uh, all right, so when you finish making your settings, all the changes you click on, you click on update, look at update here, you click on it. This is how to save your changes. It has finished updating. So if you want to change any of this, you can change it. You can even move it. You can move it to the other side. Anyhow, you want to arrange it. You can drag it and drop like this. So if you want to insert another section here, choose this. Maybe one, two columns now. You want two columns <coughs> this side i want to put an image here then i want to write text the other side so click on this and now insert an image here insert an image here choose image to take me to my media library then choose an image here This put the title, the alt text, and title. Import it. 
I want this here, and then this side I want to have text. So click on that plus, and then text editor, drag it to this place, and drop. So once you drop it, you can now come here. So you see that's gone. If you want to duplicate this, I use it in so many places. You can duplicate like this. You can duplicate. You can even drag it to somewhere else and insert it. See that it has, it has come down here. So that's not what I want. I'll give it back to this place. So you can drag it like that. So if you want to give this a background, you can still give it. If you want to give this a type two, you can still give. You can insert a text down here. You can insert a text down here and then put it inside. I want to put his name there. This is John Nick H4. So put this thing in the center. This is John Nick. So update. So that's the first way. The second way is you want to insert a new section, click on plus. This is the first one I use. If you have a template offline, just like we downloaded those things and plugged in, you can just click here and upload it. Click there and you will be able to upload. But we have not downloaded any of them. So we are going to I'm going to show you another way. There are a lot of templates here. These are starter templates. It comes with the, the starter team. So you can click there and you may be able to insert a whole page. But what we want to insert there is just a block, just a section. So you can click on this and insert. This is mostly online. So if you connect internet now, you can simply download it and off your internet and start editing. So those are the three ways you can insert section sections here. So of course, if you want to put in buttons, you can just drag a button and drop there. If you want to put some other icons, counter. There are so many things here, so many blocks here that you can insert. So now, just how you keep on editing your website, you edit everything. Edit, edit, edit everything, and then when you are done, you click on update. So click on this three dash that three lines, then exit to dashboard. Click on this WordPress logo. So come here, view your site. So you can see the changes. I'm a web developer, my name, I design professional websites for businesses, organizations, personal brands, blah 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 blah. So we change this to to read more. Then we have a picture there. We change this. We, we inserted this section which I link here with this text. And so we have our website here. This is for home page. This is for home page. When you finish home page, you now edit portfolio and about contact and the rest. So now, what is the, the section the body section of your website? Now let me show you how you can edit your your header and footer. So you simply come to customize here. Come to customize. So once you come to customize, you now see this pen icon. This pen icon. Look at these icons here. If you want to edit, hire me. I just click on this icon. 
you see that it will change. This panel here will change. To change. Look at the text here. You can change it to uh, message win. Send a message. You can change it to the other. You put the link. You can link it to your WhatsApp or any other place. Uh, you can be accessible easily. If you want to change the, the, the design, look at text color, background, you can change all of that. Uh, look at the radius. Radius is the, the corners. You want them to come around. This is where you set it. So now, if you want to change any of these tabs here, you just click on it, click on this icon, this pen icon. You see, uh, it will change this panel will change so click here so when you click you now see main menu look at home about portfolio contact you can change it here you can change this to services you see that the effect there you can see the effect there so it has changed to services. You can change this to uh, free tutorials. You can change it to anything. And then you can also add. Okay, let's click so that it will collapse. So you can also come here. Click on add. So which one do you want to add? You want to add contact. So when you just click on contact, you see that it does display it here. Mind you, these are the number of pages. These are the pages that are already that came with the, the, the website. So if you want to add new pages, you go to your dash, dashboard and add pages, and they will reflect here. So you now select any of them and add to your menu bar. So now we are done adding our pages there. So we just click on and see we have contact there and services free tutorial. That's how you edit it. So when you are done with your editing here, you click on publish. Alright, alright, let me change this logo to want to edit this logo. You can click on it. You see it here. You can remove it. You can uh, decide to change it. So click on change image. Now take it to your media library again. <laughs> so when it comes here, you can decide to upload upload a logo. Upload a logo. Maybe I just want to put this. Uh, simply upload it. And then choose image. So you see that my logo is here. If you change here to you know, my logo, this is our new logo now. So if you want to edit the whole of this section, you now click on this pen icon here. This is the, the general setting. See the height. You can reduce it, you can increase it. The design, change the background. Padding, margin, and everything. So when you are done, you publish it. So this is the arrangement here. If you want the site logo, you don't want it to be there, you can drag it and drop it where you want it to be. See that it has changed. Bring it back. And like that. The same thing applies to this button. Change it the way you want it to be. You can bring this to this side. You can bring this to the other side. And to change. So I see that. Then we put this to the middle. Anyhow, we want it. So let's take it back. Alright, because if you want to add anything, you can just click on add here. 
them put uh, any widget you want to put so you can social media handles can be a, a search button all right so that is it for what okay, i want to publish this after i publish i will now come to footer footer is the same thing if you want to change these social media handles here, I uh, can simply click on the, the button here, that pen icon, click on the pen icon, see that the whole of this will change, look at the social media handles here, Facebook, click on it, I will put my Facebook link here, if I want to change the name, I will change it there, if I want to change the icon, there are a lot of icons here. I'll just search for Facebook. Search for Facebook here. And I'll be able to pick any of them. But I have to change. So, collapse this. Look at Twitter. The same thing. Links. I change the icon there. Same thing applies to Instagram. And the other ones. Want to add a new one? You can click here and add. And then we look at the logo here. Let's change this logo to so replace image. I already have my logo here. I want to use this. I will add to widgets. Um, so you see my logo here. I want to change it. It's very big and I did it. Here I'll put 40, 40. So update. That's my logo. If I want to link it to home, I can just put my home page here, which is https that is secured slash Sequence, remember our, our domain name, sequencetech.com. So, anytime you click on this logo, it will take you back to the home page. So, if I want to edit this powered by, if I want to change this, I will click on this pen, this pen icon again, okay, and change. So, that is how to change to edit your footer. Of course, if you want to change the color too, you can click on this, and this applies to the whole section. You can click on this, want to design, and you're able to change the colors. Change everything here. Look at the example. Alright, so when you finish your changes, publish it. Publish your website. So you guys have to edit your footer and helder. You will now close. Please, let's go back and view our website and see the changes we have made. Let's go to a new page, localhost, it's, it's still on our, our local server. So we're going to put localhost slash uh, setbloxstock.com, enter. So as you can see now, look at the changes, look at our contact, services, free tutorials, Look at our logo here. Come down to footer. Look at our logo here. Look at our string handles. Look at this. All right. So that is how to design a WordPress website offline. You can do all of this offline, and then when you are set, of course we are going to edit the other pages too. When you are set, you now buy register a domain name buy a hosting plan and then host your website and your website will go live. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how you upload your website to your hosting plan. All right, so if you like this content, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to go. You can share this video with your friends, share it with anyone that will need this skill. See you in my next video.